Hello, I'm Alex Gupta with UATV. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Svetlana Chukanova. She is the American Library Coordinator at the National University of Kyiv. Hello, Dr. Chukanova. Uh, hello, hello from the American Library at the National University of Kyiv Mohila Academy, which is a part also of Window on America Center's program in Ukraine. I'm very happy to, to be in this program. And thank you very much for, for this opinion, uh, for, for this uh, opportunity to talk about our Window on America Center. Let me ask you, what is the mission of Window on America? Actually, the Window on America Center's program in Ukraine is a partnership with the public affairs uh, section of the U.S. Embassy. And overall purpose is to strengthen and develop ties between uh, the U.S. and Ukraine. Uh, this program is uh, known worldwide, uh, not only in Ukraine, but Ukraine has uh, the largest network uh, of any one country. Uh, the mission of each center is to promote mutual understanding between the United States and Ukraine. And the centers accomplish this by providing information about the U.S. government, history, society and, and values to Ukrainian audiences, by providing access to Internet resources and serving as uh, focal points for U.S. assistance and exchange programs. How many centers does Window on America have in Ukraine? Uh, there are 29 uh, centers window on America, uh, and uh, five of them are uh, centers for future leaders. Uh, and uh, actually, in Kyiv, we have one center for future leaders, uh, American Library in Kyiv, and America House. What do you teach at the Center for Leadership? What leadership skills do you teach? Actually, um, these centers um, um, preparing uh, young children, young, uh, young adults to, uh, to gain leadership skills, um, to know better, to know more about education in the United States, uh, to know about modern technologies and to develop their uh, communicative skills. And also, uh, of course, everything connected with education, USA. So um, the uh, process of admission, the uh, university in the United States, and so on and so on. So uh, each center does very great job, uh, and um, uh, usually uh, centers of future leaders are located at the children's libraries. You know, in Ukraine we have division to. Um, libraries for scholars, like academic libraries, university libraries, libraries for children. Uh, my center uh, is located at the university libraries, so we are more academic, but uh, we work with different types of library users. And uh, of course, we have some programs for kids uh, which help to develop their communicative skills and maker space uh, programs uh, like uh, 3D printing and 3D drawing by uh, 3D doodles and um, discussion clubs, film discussions, which also helps to uh, uh, develop their comprehension skills. What, how is Window on America helping Ukrainian students who want to study in the United States? Uh, we are partners with uh, American Councils for International Education and for uh, Education USA, and um, we uh, help uh, students to know um, more information about the admission process. We try to uh, involve different speakers uh, in partnership with Education USA, try to promote um, uh, information about this, so have different guides, uh, in, uh, electronic resources, and. Uh, by the way, uh, there is a um, very interesting project uh, by Education USA, which is called uh, the Competitive College Club. And uh, it is a group of uh, highly motivated um, uh, and talented Ukrainian students uh, which uh, are applying to colleges and universities in the United States. And uh, it serves as a cohort adv advising platform for Ukrainian students to test their skills, 
how to um, undergo interview sessions, how to write essay, and uh, all the admission process. Of course, it uh, cannot guarantee the admission, but it helps uh, students to test their skills. And uh, uh, it's very important project, I think, uh, which we are going to support and uh, which we are going to inform about uh, our library users, uh, of course, uh, our students and those who are uh, going to become students uh, and uh, want to enter college or university in the United States. What exchange programs, are there any exchange programs the U.S. Embassy, Window on America, do with uh, programs in the United States and the universities? Actually, uh, there are a variety of exchange programs uh, which are supported uh, by the U.S. government and by the uh, U.S. Embassy. We can name uh, such famous exchange programs as uh, Fulbright for scholars, for uh, graduate students, uh, for um, facu faculty development, uh, also Open World, uh, FLEX, uh, uh, and uh, Global Undergraduate Exchange Program, and many, many other uh, programs and scholarships which are supported by the uh, U.S. government and by the U.S. Embassy. And it's worth to mention that uh, American Councils for uh, International Education and uh, Education USA are doing a great job in administrating and consulting uh, on all these uh, opportunities. So, for if scholars, I, for students. Okay, I was gonna. If I'm a, Ukra a young Ukrainian and I want to study in the United States, I want that opportunity. Where should I go? Where's the fir first place I should go? Is there a website? Should I come to the center, the Window on America centers? Uh, it depends on your. Uh, uh, we call librarians call it information seeking behavior. So you can start from the uh, website uh, either of Window on America centers, which are also function as um, uh, helping uh, uh, advising as uh, advising centers, uh, or either with the platform or Education USA. Uh, you can go either to Window on America physically in your region, or to Win uh, to uh, Education USA office and. Uh, in all these places, you will get uh, necessary information, consultation uh, about the admission process. So uh, if we lack some information, we can contact to our colleagues and uh, get this information for you uh, in order you to, to know uh, the requirements and everything which, which is necessary for the admission process. And of course, when we have opportunity uh, to uh, invite uh, guest speakers, uh, who can dwell on the topic of education uh, in the United States, that's uh, very good. Uh, and uh, this autumn we will have, um, in September, we will have Skype session with the University of Baltimore. And we hope to learn from the expert um, some details about the admission process and how to study after you um, entered the university, so what are the requirements for you as a student. So I hope that this session will also be very interesting to, to our audience. That, that brings me to my next point. What are, are there any upcoming events in the next few months that we should be on the lookout for? Actually, uh, we are going uh, to continue our usual programs such as discussion clubs, film clubs, uh, uh, boarding games. Uh, but uh, first of all, we are paying great attention now to media literacy, uh, to um, makerspace, uh, to academic integrity and fighting corruption. And the whole next year will be dedicated to programs uh, which are connected um, uh, to these topics, especially academic integrity. And we hope that we'll realize uh, the project uh, which connected to academic integrity, thus interviewing uh, Ukrainian scholars uh, uh, who will dwell on different aspects of uh, academic integrity, such as striking plagiarism uh, and um, 
uh, honor code of the university or honor code of a student or scholar. And of course, we are going to work in pa a partnership with um, Transparency International uh, Ukraine, uh, with our Anti-Corruption Research and Study Center at Kyiv Mohila Academy, with our International Law Department, with uh, ETRC, uh, and with all other organizations who are interested uh, in cooperation with us. Of course, with Education USA and American Councils for International Education, because all these topics are connected, and uh, I hope that uh, that will have very good result. Okay, and my final question, I want to ask you, of the students who are coming and you're teaching them how to apply for college in the U.S. and they're, they're applying, what, uh, how many people are actually being accepted and going? Is it very competitive? Is it difficult? Or are you seeing good rate? Actually, we don't have uh, such statistics in our center because uh, as we are located in Kyiv, in Kyiv there are many opportunities for students and the majority of them comes to uh, Education USA Center uh, on Esplanadna Street in Kyiv. Uh, but uh, we might say that um, a lot of our volunteers are flex alumni who are going to enter uh, American college or university uh, and we can see that they are very motivated people and uh, they have very good comprehensive skills. Uh, they know uh, a lot about uh, education in the United States and we are happy when they um, win grants or win scholarships, visit the United States, uh, even if it's short-term program, uh, but we may say that uh, it's very high percent of uh, students who have success. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Chukanova. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank right. you. Have a good day. I'm Alex Gupta with UATV. I was speaking with Dr. Svetlana Chukanova. She is the American Library Coordinator at the National University of Kiev in association with the Window on America Center. You're watching UATV.